Hey guys, welcome to AC Technical. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to install Windows 11. There are many more videos on internet about Windows 11 installation. But this video is very unique because you are going to learn something new here. And I'm sure here is a more detailed and comprehensive guide to installing Windows 11. So let's get started. Before moving forward, make sure you have these three prerequisites. Number one, a USB flash drive with at least 8GB of storage capacity. Number 2, a Windows 11 ISO file. You can download it from Microsoft official website. Official ISO file link given in the description below. First, go to Windows search and search Windows 11 download and then press enter. Click on this official link. Scroll down and go to download Windows 11 disk image section. Now select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO file and click download. Select the product language and click confirm. Ok, now click 64 bit download button to download the ISO file. And number 3. Download and install Rufus on your computer to create a bootable USB flash drive. Go to Rufus official website and scroll down to download Rufus latest version from here. Once you have these requirements, you can follow these steps to create a bootable USB drive with Rufus and install Windows 11. First, insert the USB flash drive into your computer and open Rufus. After that, select your USB drive from the device drop down menu. Under boot selection, click on select and choose the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded. Now here's the most important step. First, to create a bootable USB drive for installing Windows 11 with UEFI BIOS, select the partition scheme, GPT and target system type UEFI non-CSM. Second, to create a bootable USB flash drive for installing Windows 11 with legacy BIOS, select the partition scheme, MBR and target system type BIOS or UEFI CSM. And third, to create a bootable USB flash drive for installing Windows 11 with legacy BIOS or UEFI, you will need to press Alt plus E key combination to enable dual mode for BIOS or UEFI, as you can see. Here, I'll be select the partition scheme MBR and target system type BIOS or UEFI because this is a dual BIOS based computer. It supports both legacy and UEFI. So I hope you understand what to select. Under file system, select NTFS if it's not already selected. Give a name to your USB drive in the volume level field or you can leave it default. Click on the start button to begin the process of creating the bootable USB drive. If you want, you can customize your Windows installation from here. I just leave this customize option and click on OK. After that, Rufus will display a warning message that all data on the USB drive will be destroyed. Click on OK to proceed. Wait for Rufus to complete the process of creating the bootable USB drive. Once the process is complete, safely eject the USB drive from your computer. Now insert the USB drive into the computer where you want to install Windows 11 and restart your computer. Press the key that allows you to enter the BIOS setup, usually F2 or Delete key. 
After that, change the boot order so that the USB drive is the first boot device. Once done, save the changes and exit the BIOS setup. After your computer boots from the USB drive, you will see the Windows 11 setup screen. Now click on Next. Click on Install Now. Once prompt, enter the product key. You can enter the product key later during the setup process. If you have a digital license, you don't need to enter a product key. Just select I don't have a product key. Select the version of your Windows 11 and click Next. Read and accept the license terms and click on the Next button. Now choose the installation type. You can choose to upgrade from Windows 10 if you want to keep your personal file settings and applications. Or if you want to do a fresh and clean installation, then select Custom Advanced option and then you will need to delete all partition on your hard drive. Now select your drive where you want to install Windows 11 and before installing make sure to format and delete the old system partition and OM partition to avoid interruption during installation. Once done, click on Next. Now keep patience, let it for install. Please don't do anything when your PC is rebooting. I'll just fast forward this boarding part. Just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the Windows 11 setup process.
create a user account by entering your name and password. You can also choose to a Microsoft account or create a local account. Now keep patience until the setup process is finishes. After Windows 11 is installed, install the necessary drivers and updates for your computer by going to Windows settings. That's it, you have successfully installed Windows 11 on your computer. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Please like, comment and share. We need your support and do not forget to subscribe our channel AC Technical. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.